I'm Hannah, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a home office tour. This is my home office. I love it very, very much. Maybe my favorite room is house. It's not a house, it's a flat. <laughs> so we're gonna start where every office really starts and that is the desk area. This is our epic long desk. However, we're just going to ignore that bit because that's Dan's corner, that's the man corner the man desk, the man shelves. We're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> We're gonna focus on my stuff, which is the rest of the room. So this room functions as my office, my filming studio, and also a spare room. So we're gonna take you through all the different areas. This is my desk. We got it from Ikea. We basically bought the legs and the tops separately so that we could have this ridiculously long desk situation. I couldn't, for the life of me, tell you <laughs> what my PC is. Last year we did a video where um, I built my own PC. Hashtag Dan actually built the PC. But this is it. I've got dual monitors, which I love. I'm never going back. I This just helps with so much stuff. And the actual computer bit. Wow, I really know what I'm talking about. It's down there. I love it very much. This is where I do all of my work. My chair is also from Ikea. This is my blue Yeti mic. Whenever I'm doing like phone calls or interviews or streaming. This is the mic that gets used for all of that good stuff. It's currently muted, it's always muted. And then the webcam is always facing away. Don't trust anyone, people. Above my desk, we have my YouTube 100,000 subscribers silver play button plaque thing. We have this photo, me and my friend Charlie, when we did Tough Mudder. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. I have this little Lego person that is meant to be me that my friend Callum gave me. I have a like wood cutting of the Hormone Diaries book title that my friend Alex made for me. And then over here is the start of my like, my achievements section <laughs> of the shelf, where we have awards and books that I wrote. <laughs> so over on my awards and my achievement shelf that makes me feel really good about myself, I have a UK Blog Awards Award from 2017, Individual Vlogger and Podcast Winner. <sighs> um, Hormone Diaries, doing it, a cactus, one of these things, is it? Yeah, I can kind of smell something from that. And these are like different language and different editions of my book. So we have the American English language, which is a whole other thing. Uh, German, Dutch, and then this is like the first mock-up I got of my book and then the proof copy. This is my Blogosphere Award, Vlogger of the Year. If we go up, then we have my Cosmopolitan Influencer of the Year Award. Best, it says best sex and relationships on it. Influencer. Um, two Summer in the City Awards, Book of the Year 2017 for doing it. Community Spirit Award 2018 for getting ill. And at the back here is a journalism award, highly commended for a piece that I wrote for the Metro about having sex with a stoma. Another cactus, we have loads of these around our house because at Dan's like work summer party they were giving loads away and so we ended up coming home with like six mini cacti <laughs> and so we just found little homes for them around the house. A Rubik's Cube, it's complete because I used to be able to do them and now I can't remember how and I'm scared of messing it up because I won't know how to redo it. A clapperboard and then behind is a signed first aid kit, Drunken Trees album EP. I don't know, it's eight, there's eight songs on it. It's like their first record and it's a CD. I've got nowhere to play it, but it's signed, so I'm keeping it. And then Dan's section, which is, is, that's his business. Down here, we have a pen pot. Do we ever really use pens these days? No, but I sure have acquired a lot of pens. This pot actually was originally gifted to me by some beauty company. It had lots of makeup in it, but then I repurposed it for stationery. This is an exciting bit. These are our drawers, also from Ikea, obviously. Hello. <laughs> and then I labeled them all with one of those like punchy sticker things. Stationery, hardware, electronics. This is a really scary drawer. It's not organized at all. It's a mess. And there's keyboards in here and hard drives and we don't talk about that. Home lots of important things about mortgages and stuff is in there. And travel, this is where um, 
lots of different currencies are because you come home with lots of change. And then my pride and joy, our shredder. I don't have anything to shred. Welcome to a corner of the room that you probably never see. Over here, we have all of my lanyards from lots of different events that I go to. I pr probably should get rid of these, but I, I can't. I don't, I, I don't know why, I can't, I can't. Down here is a piece of cardboard that Dan and his friends use as a tabletop for when they play Warhammer. And apparently we can't get rid of it. That's an important piece of cardboard. <laughs> Up here are two pieces of merch that I've released over the years. The Do I Look Like a Slut poster and Drunk Advice. And I got them framed because why not? And then I have this cork board. I've always been a massive fan of cork boards. It feels really old fashioned, but I don't know. I find them really useful. Obviously, all of the things that were posted on here that actually are useful, I've taken off because they all have personal details and my address and everything on them. But I also use it for fun and like putting up lots of cool postcards and like photo booth photos. This is the latest edition in which this woman shows the devil her vulva and he's like, so that's that. This is lots of naked bodies and I'm one of them. I'm in the light blue somewhere. This is a framed photo of me and my sister dressing up when we were kids. She gave this to me as a Christmas present and it sits on my desk at all times. This is my in tray, cause it's an office. So anytime I get like bits of paper or gifted things or oh, letters, notes, whatever, physical things that I'm like, I need to do something with that, that goes in here. So currently um, we have some like vagina museum stuff because before I like put this up around the room, I wanna just like get some photos and stuff of it. My vagina museum clitorati pin, it says I came first, cause I went to the vagina museum first. This little pot has SD cards in it. I have no idea where this little pot came from. It's also where I keep, you know that weird connector thing to charge your Apple pencil? That's where this goes so I don't lose it. And then my iPad usually hangs out around here. And then this is also where my MacBook hangs out. I bought one of those like little stand things. And so that just sits there nicely when I'm not using it out of the way. If we go down, then we can see my PC with all of its crazy LED fun lights. That's it right there. Yay! If you wanna know about this PC build and like what is actually in it, you can click the video up here, which has all of that and you can see the mess that was building the PC. But now, if you come this way, down here on this dusty shelf is lots of little tripods and things that I occasionally need for filming and a charging station. So this is where I charge my main camera. Here's a bunch of rechargeable batteries for microphones and other things. Little vlog camera, I, I don't even know. Just lots of like random bits. GoPro, another mini tripod. And this is my filming corner. This chair I've had for ages, I got from Ikea. Bookshelves also from Ikea. If you wanna see the bookshelf in more detail, I recently did a bookshelf tour video and you can click the card in the corner up here to watch that. Now, one thing that you very rarely see all of when you see my videos sat here are my paintings. Da 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 da! The sunflower painting is one that I did when I was 15 with a friend and I love it very much. And this one, huh, um, I did recently at an art night. It was like meant to be like all abstract or whatever. And it's a pile of shit, but I love it. And I've displayed my shit on my wall. But now, Onto the guest room portion of this home office tour. This is the guest day bed, also from Ikea. It pulls out into a double bed so that our friends and family can stay over. It's also a great place to take naps during the workday. But actually we need to continue this tour. We also have some more artwork in this corner. We have a Rick and Morty poster, a Hufflepuff poster, a Blondie album. Trouble in Terrace Town, Yogg's Cast poster. This is Dan's. Great tits. And final thing, down here on this little rug section is where I keep all of my equipment. This whole bag here 
there's all my podcasting stuff. I often travel to other people. And so it all just goes in there and fits in my backpack. When I'm not filming, all of my camera lights and everything goes here. That's my flute and some flute music that I brought here from my parents' house with high hopes of picking up <laughs> playing the flute again. Hasn't happened. So that has been my home office tour. I really, really love this room. I feel like it's got its three different areas, like the desk, the filming corner, and then like the guest bedroom bit. And for a kind of small-ish room, it like all fits in. There's still tons of space. I love this room very much. I spend most of my time here that I am awake <laughs> in the flat in this room. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'd love to hear what you would want your dream office to be like. For me, I would add an extra screen. I would have the guest room being a separate room and I would have like my own little like podcast recording corner as well, like with permanent mics set up, like that would be my dream. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I make new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!